Uh, the moment, basically in 25 words or less, is the story of a 50-something American writer living in Maine, just recently divorced. Uh, he ran, gets a package from his publishers in New York. He sees the name on the package and the address, which is Berlin, and he panics, puts it away. And suddenly we are 25 years earlier when he was a young man writing his second book in Berlin, living a louche existence, sharing a, an apartment with a rather louche painter named Alistair in Kreuzberg. And he encountered a translator, Petra, who had been recently expelled from East Germany. And it was what the French call a coup de foudre, love at first sight. Uh, but Petra comes with a lot of shadows trailing her. What the shadows are, you have to read the novel. Very much, it's a, a tragic love story, but it's also very much about how and why we fall in love, and how and why we always seem to construct walls in our intimate lives. I was in the middle of a divorce. I was having a day in court, never fun. Uh, after the day in court, I crossed uh, the Thames, crossed the Millennium Bridge, ended up here at the Tate, seeing an exposition of paintings by Mark Rothko, I was looking at the dark portals that are contained in his paintings and I kept seeing walls. Two days later, I was in Berlin, which was a city which once had a wall, and the two ideas came to me at one big moment, and the novel began to form its way into my head. Well, Berlin back then was a schizophrenic city divided uh, by this wall, but also a little sea of the west in the middle of a, a very large communist ocean. Uh, I wanted to recreate that because it's now disappeared. It's a unified city. And also people's memories are terribly short when it comes to the Cold War. The Moment is also a novel about regret and very much about emotional self-sabotage. Um, I think in life, many of the things that send our, our lives on a completely different trajectory happen in a moment. It's like meeting the person you fall in love with. Most of the time it's very random. Uh, it's making a decision that sends things down a completely different trajectory. Um, I'm fascinated by that, but I'm also fascinated by the way we create our own traps. And everyone has at one time or another created their own trap. But most of the time we are the architects of our own problems. And why and how, well that keeps me very busy as a writer.